Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we have some more Game Maker Studio news. Now if you're subscribed to this channel, you've probably seen more about Game Maker in the last few months than over the last several years. And that's because there's been quite a few moves happening. We're going to do a quick recap and then we're getting into today's news. But first a little overview of Game Maker Studio itself. This one is a long running program. It is used to make 2D games mostly uh, and it's made some very successful titles out there. We've got uh, Undertale Forger, Hyper Light Drifter, Hotline Miami, Night Dog, etc. A number of of very successful indie titles were made using Game Maker Studio, and it can be used to publish to a number of different platforms. By the way, if you're interested in getting Game Maker Studio, um, it's available at yoyogames.com. And uh, it's actually more available than it ever was before, quite simply because of recent announcements. You see, um, Game Maker was purchased by uh, Opera. Now, Opera is the maker of a web browser. In fact, it's the maker of this web browser. I actually use Opera GX ever since I checked it out a number of months back. It is my current favorite browser for a variety of different reasons, and the company behind it purchased Yo-Yo Games. And I kind of figured at the time that there were going to be some changes to the pricing and availability of it, and I was not wrong. Most recently, uh, just, let's see, uh, June 30th, so a couple of months back, uh, they made the uh, studio version free. Now, what this actually basically did is there was an unlimited, there, sorry, there was a time limited and feature limited free trial. Now that version has no limits on it other than you can't publish. So you can't use the free version for making and shipping commercial games, but you can use it to do 100% of everything else. So if you want to evaluate, learn, or check out, or um, teach somebody using uh Game Maker Studio now is the perfect opportunity because, quite frankly, it is free. There are a couple limitations there. You do not get access to the high-performance compiler because you can't actually build or distribute an executable from this version. Uh, so that's the other aspect there. You always have to use the most current version, and you can't create a publisher account. But other than that, you get full access to it. You get a number of tutorials to check things out and so on and so forth. Uh, but today... Uh, today we are, I don't know why we're back on that screen, uh, we're here because of this announcement. So they have just made changes to their pricing model and quite essentially Game Maker Studio just became cheaper. Uh, pretty much on every level whatsoever. So this is going to be a bit of a recap of everything that we just talked about. So they were acquired by uh, Yo-Yo Games, they made a, the indie version completely free. Um, so we've got more affordable pricing for sharing and publishing games. So starting with desktop and then moving to web and mobile, more and more platforms are being introduced and then quickly becoming adopted by game creators. To meet those needs and encourage developers to ship their games everywhere, we are making our purchasing options broader and at the same time more affordable and flexible. From now on, we will combine all of our non-console platforms into a single indie option where you can publish across all these platforms from a single version. They also lowered the price for the console version. So the, basically, they've restructured their pricing. All of the platforms, desktop, um, mobile and uh, web are now indie and then there is the um, pro option which is I believe they called enterprise so you can see it in action here if this goes ahead and loads this is pretty breaking news so the site is just coming online now so we have that new free tier again the big thing about the free tier is you cannot create and publish executables. So that is where you jump into the indie tier. At the indie tier, you've got two options, 1149 Canadian, which I think is 999 or 949 a month. So basically 10 bucks a month US, or you can buy it yearly for 99 bucks, also known as $113.99 Canadian. And in that tier, you're getting Game Maker Studio, Desktop, Web, Mobile, and UWP. UWP is Universal Windows Platform. Uh, that enables you to actually run it, I think on Xbox. Uh, Xbox was definitely part of the UWP program. Uh, but also on uh, the kind of the now defunct store. UWP is sort of a thing of the past. It made a lot more sense when uh, Microsoft Phone was still a thing. Uh, but that is that. Basically here you can now get desktop, web, and mobile export at the indie version for 10 bucks a month. So you got a free version, unlimited features, indie version, $10 a month with all the various different exports. And then the if you want to do console exporting, it is now, uh, what is that, probably $800 a year, uh, 919 Canadian. Uh, this used to be $1,500, so it's almost half the savings. It's $700 US less, and this gets you everything you get in indie plus console export. So if you're developing for the Switch, then the, um, the uh, PlayStation or the Xbox, not UWP, uh, you could now export to those platforms as well. Now, notice the asterisk. I'm assuming that asterisk comes down and basically means um, you still need to have a developer account with uh, Microsoft, Nintendo, or uh, Sony. You, you can't just start publishing to their platforms. I also think there's a 
Stadia export. And I know people make fun of Stadia every time I mention it, but I got to be thorough. Uh, so basically, they've restructured the pricing. There is a free version, unlimited availability. It's full functioning, except you can't export or compile out. Uh, indie tier, $10 a month, and you're getting web, desktop, and mobile export. I'm not sure what the, the exact savings on that is because it's not really a one-to-one. -one. Uh, this used to be like, uh, say, $200 for HTML, $200 for desktop on uh, and then $200 for web kind of thing. Now it's all kind of consolidated together into $100 a month subscription. Now if you're seeing, okay, what about just buying it outright? Hey, welcome to the wonderful world of subscriptions. Don't you just love it? Let me know comments down below. And then the enterprise tier is if you are publishing for the consoles and it is basically about just shy of half the price that it used to be. And that gets you all of the console export. So potentially it's no savings at all if you were say just developing for the Switch before. Uh, but now if you were developing for the Switch and uh, PlayStation and um, uh, Xbox, it's a savings basically of all those other two platforms in. Um, and that's kind of the new pricing here. We got some FAQs about uh, why they're changing to a subscription model. And I know everybody loves subscription models, right? Uh, I believe a new subscription model gives uh, users an affordable option to meet their specific needs. Helps the gaming market become more flexible and affordable to everyone. The main change is uh, with the export options available each tier. So removing the restriction on the free version of Game Maker Studio, users can now learn how to make games for free. The only thing that they can't do is share their completed game. Add a subscription options to cater for people who want to publish their games. Will my existing license continue to work? Yep, perpetual licenses are not going anywhere and will continue to function for the lifetime of Game Maker Studio 2. So you'll be able to use your existing perpetual license while also being able to take advantage of our main upgrade offers. Uh, can I upgrade? Yes, you can. Uh, if you have a perpetual license, you'll be able to take advantage of a variety of subscription tiers without having to make an initial payment. Uh, so if you've got perpetual indie upgrade 12 months starting January 1st, uh, creator from creator to indie, uh, number of months remaining by three. So your, your creator license becomes a third of an indie license. Console, uh, number of months remaining. Ultimate, number of months remaining times two. And perpetual becomes two months per license. Uh, for enterprise. So that's what the, the translation of perpetual license to subscriptions will get you. Uh, again, this is fully optional, but you're not going to get upgrades going forward, I suppose. Uh, what will happen to my uh, existing license for upgrade? You will retain your perpetual license after you upgrade. So if you end up canceling your subscription, you will still have access to the export slash features you originally purchased. Uh, can I cancel or change your subscription? Yep, but uh, via your account. But for you can change your subscription, but what would anything else be? I'm not sure. Uh, uh, what if I change my subscription tier? You'll be shown the price difference that you will need to pay today and will be able to access your new subscription immediately. If you're moving to a cheaper tier, you will be shown the amount of credit you will have for future payments. Uh, can I buy a, a Game Maker Studio 2 subscription on Steam? Not currently, but we're working to add our new suite of Game Maker Studio subscriptions to Steam. Uh, so that's kind of going to change things as well. So uh, it's kind of, uh, you get some, you lose some. So the uh, free version is, is good for a majority of people for sure. Um, the indie is better pricing if you're committed to it, but you're kind of going from a buy once kind of approach to uh, a subscription over time approach, but at a fairly substantial saving. So I think it's about two to three years where it would, um, you'd require to have it without break for it to break even. And then enterprise, enterprise is just straight out a better deal than what the old one was, uh, as long as you're developing for more than one console. So that is it. Uh, it's, it's almost inevitable that it was going to be a move to subscription. Uh, I am not a huge fan of subscription software, but I also acknowledge that it's pretty much the norm. It's, it's just reality now. So I'm curious what you think. Um, so yeah, we have the free tier, we have the indie tier, and we have the enterprise tier. We do not have uh, perpetual uh, purchases anymore, uh, but your existing perpetual license will continue to be honored and you can, air quotes, upgrade to a subscription if you so wish. So let me know what you think. Um, I know a lot of people do not like subscriptions, but a lot of people like saving money. So I can see people being torn on this. Uh, I do think that they're probably on better footings as a viable company going forward under Yo-Yo Game Stewardship. And I think this is actually a move in the right direction. I do like this for sure. Again, the one thing that I find incredibly bizarre though is that this one wasn't included over here because Yo-Yo Games is owned by a web browser company. Uh, so that would make sense to, to give everyone the ability to publish web games. And I think that'll happen eventually, to be honest. But uh, let me know what you think of the tiers. And that's it. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.